Hello and welcome to our quick guide to using OnePetro. OnePetro is an online library of technical literature for the oil and gas exploration and production industry. As a large portion of the industry's technology is described in conference papers, this database focuses primarily on conference proceedings and peer review journal articles. This means that the material is highly specialised, authoritative and provides insights into up-to-date research and ideas. You can access OnePetro either via library search on the library homepage or via the journals and databases tab on relevant subject guides. From the OnePetro homepage there are two ways you can find information. First, you have the option to browse individual journal titles or conference events using the tabs at the top of the page. For example, if I were interested in petrophysics, I can click on the journals tab scroll down to the Petrophysics Journal, select it by clicking on the title, then either view the latest articles here or use the volume navigation on the right hand side to find a particular issue. Similarly, with conferences I can pick out events from the Society of Petrophysics and Well Log Analysts, choose their latest symposium and select any relevant conference papers to read. If I return to the home page, the second way to access information is through a basic keyword search. To do this, type your terms into the search box, tick boxes for peer-reviewed items or limit to a particular date if needed, then press search. On the results page, I have the option to filter my results by date, for example selecting the most up-to-date information, journal title or conference name, publisher and type of material. Here I'm going to select journal papers only. I can also sort my results by relevance, date published and highest rated. The highest rated option is a technical rating given by other users of OnePetro so should be used with caution. For now I want to look at the most recent publications in journals. On each record in your results you will find a quick abstract that can help you decide if the article is useful and a button to download the full text article. When clicking on the title of a result you are given basic bibliographic information such as the name of the journal, publisher details and issue number. Other issues in the journal can be browsed using the navigation box on the right hand side. You also have a longer summary of the work as well as a list of references and sometimes links to other articles that may be of interest. An additional useful feature here is the export citation option. Selecting this will provide you with a reference in APA style and a link to export the citation to EndNote. If I return to my search, you can see that the database provides some advanced search features. You can use these options to focus your search, inputting additional search terms and selecting specific authors, publishers, journal titles or conference events. Note, the search help button also provides advice on how to structure more advanced search sentences. Finally, if you register for a OnePetro account, you will have the additional option of being able to save items or searches and to set up alerts to keep up to date on new material as it's published. Once you've logged in, the Save Search and Save Item buttons will be visible. You can find your saved items under the My Account tab and from here can set up email alerts for saved searches or export citations for all saved items. And that's your quick introduction to OnePetro. For more subject specific resources and guidance take a look at your subject guide.